Hi everyone, it's Sherry Vegas and in this resin tutorial today I'm going to be answering the question on whether you can put freeze-dried flowers into resin. So for this tutorial I bought some freeze-dried roses and they are very beautiful and we're going to see if they are able or compatible to go into resin and if they're going to change over time. I got asked this question the other day and this is something that I've actually never tried. I've never had freeze dried flowers to cast them into resin. So I thought this would make a really good tutorial testing that out and seeing if it would work. So if you are new to resin or you've never really added any items, done any casting with resin, any item that you add into resin needs to be 100% dry, it cannot contain any moisture. And that is why you can't add fresh flowers into resin. It might look nice for a few days, but basically the moisture in that flower is trapped and it has nowhere to go once the resin has set. And therefore it just starts to rot the flower and eventually over time it just kind of goes black and gooey and looks terrible in the resin. So that's why all items that you add into resin must be completely dry. So normally when you do want to add flowers into resin you have to dry them out first and the number one way of doing that is generally with silica gel. Um, so you can get any kind of flowers that you want and place them into silica gel. I'll add a link up to one of the videos I've done previously about how to do that and how to dry your flowers out correctly. But I got asked the other day about can you put freeze dried flowers in and there is a little bit of a different method with freeze drying flowers compared to silica gel. So I was really interested in seeing whether this was possible, whether the resin would affect it, different types of resin. So I did a few little tests and I'm gonna show you guys the results of that now. So I've got some freeze dried roses here and I'm gonna be putting them into resin and I'm gonna be using the Make Art Crystal Cast Resin to start with. So I'm just pouring a base of my resin and then placing the flowers on top and then I'm gonna be doing a few pours to lock them in. Now, if you don't know about freeze drying flowers, there is a little bit of a process. So it's called lyophilization. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but please don't judge me on that. Um, and basically with the process of freeze drying them, the flowers are dipped in a pre-treatment sort of chemical that helps them keep their shape and their color. And then they are put into the freeze drying chamber where they are frozen. And then once they are frozen, the chamber then vacuums out all of the moisture. So because of that process and the chemicals that are used on them, I wasn't quite sure whether they would be good in resin, even though they are a dry product and it should be fine. I did think you could get some funny chemical reactions. So I am pouring in multiple layers just to make sure that the resin doesn't heat up too much, which can damage the flowers. And I'm also not using any heat at all throughout this process. So these pieces will have bubbles in them, but I was more concerned about making sure I didn't overheat the resin or have any issues with that. And you can see on this next layer that I did, the flowers have already started to change. They're not looking too great. They've darkened quite a lot. And even on this next layer that I did, I'm letting all the layers dry properly in between. They have completely changed color and they've looked like they've almost rotten. So they had a really weird chemical reaction. Now the resin I am using is the Make Art Crystal Cast Resin. So I thought that could be one of the issues. So for this next flower that I did, I'm doing it all the same where I'm pouring in multiple layers, but I've switched up the resin. So the resin that I'm using for this one is from Just Resin and it's their Art Cast Resin. And I'm doing everything completely the same where I'm pouring in multiple layers and I'm not using any heat tools to pop any of the bubbles. But this one turned out a lot better. So it obviously just comes down to the type of resin you're using and whether or not it will have a funny chemical reaction. Now ignore all of these bubbles. I didn't, as I said previously, didn't use anything to get rid of them. But I think it looks pretty similar to how it looked originally. This is it with just being pulled out the next day. And I'm gonna show you what the other piece looks like after it's just been pulled out. So not looking that great, looking pretty bad actually. Looks like the flowers are rotten. So it has been a month since I originally did these two pieces. Um, now the first one that I did with the three sort of flowers in this block, 
Uh, it had a really bad reaction to this resin and has made the flowers go really just not a great color. And I have noticed that they kind of are still changing slightly in color. Um, and that's probably just come down to, it must just have a really funny chemical reaction. Whatever chemical they use to dip these, like whatever chemical they use to do the freeze drying, with this particular type of resin, which is the Make Art Crystal Cast Resin, obviously just isn't compatible. I'm not really quite sure the like chemicals that are used on these freeze-dried roses to freeze-dry them, but it just wasn't compatible. But I wanted to make sure it wasn't just the resin that was having this awful reaction with the roses, um, this particular brand of resin. So that's why I did do that second test with a different type of resin. And it's been a month and this is still looking really good. It's super bubbly, do not worry about that. I just didn't want to add any heat or any other elements that might affect the results of this test. And you can see that the flower looks pretty similar to how it looked originally and there's not too much difference. So it really does just come down to the brand of resin you're using because obviously each different brand has a different formula even though they're all epoxy resins and epoxy casting resins you can still have very different formulas with different sort of chemical ingredients or different um, levels of the different chemicals in each one that obviously will affect this process. So to basically answer, yes, you can put freeze dry flowers in resin. You just got to make sure that you're using the correct resin. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post new videos every single week, all to do with resin, eco resins, like the Jessamites, the alcohol inks, candle making. So definitely go and check all of those out. But thank you so much for watching.